So next step is control of over voltage due to the switching surges which is happening in the power system. So basically this uh, over voltage due to uh, switching and the power frequency may be controlled by uh, this many cases. So that is by uh, energizing of transmission line in one or more step by inserting series resistance and withdrawing them afterwards. So we'll explain one by one, we'll take that. So then phase controlled, uh, closing of circuit breaker, then drainage of trapped charges before reclosing of any uh, line or any equipment and use of shunt reactors. So where it will be used as a compensator, that one and limiting uh, switching surges by suitable surge diverters. So we take one by one how actually we can control this over voltage in the power system which is happening because of the switching surges. So in the first one, if you look at that, uh, the method which is given that we can make use of a resistance which is connected in series to the your lightning arrestor. So that is nothing but before initiation of transmission line, one or more step to be inserted or inserting series resistance to, be, to withdraw whatever the large over voltage is happening within the power system. In normal practice, what happened? Uh, we have a practice of inserting this resistance R value, the resistance R in series with circuit breaker, in series with circuit breaker contact when switching on but short circuiting them after few cycle. So I connect a register in, if I have a circuit breaker for example, if you, this is a circuit breaker, so where your transmission line will be connected here. So what they will do, they will connect a resistance R here in series to this circuit breaker contact. So after few cycles, after the switching operation is done, what they will do? they will short circuit this. So they will short circuit the register R so that I can bypass the current. I can remove that resistance here. So by doing this, this will reduce the uh, transient occur due to the switching surges. So we know that the transient will be very high, huge amount of peak will be present. So we can reduce some amount, some amount of this transient by adding the resistance in series to the circuit breaker. That is what we, we said here inserting a resistance and withdrawing them after few seconds or after few cycles here. So here the voltage will be applied uh, to the circuit breaker will first will reduce uh, by the equation which is given by Z0 divided by R plus Z0. So where Z0 is your surge impedance. Z0 is the surge impedance and R is the resistance which you are supposed to add here, which is shown in the circuit here. So where we can add this resistance, so, so that the surge impedance of the line will get reduced here. When you are adding this resistor and, and short circuiting, what happens? I can reduce some amount of voltage over here. So if this resistor is kept for a duration larger than say 5 milliseconds, I am keeping this resistance in the circuit for greater than 5 millisecond, then it can be seen that the successive reflection of the transmission uh, over voltage can be reduced up to 1.2 per unit. I can bring down if voltage is 2.5 per unit or 2 per unit, just imagine. So already I mentioned what is my per unit here. It will be so nothing but representation of the voltage in terms of per unit. If it is 1000 kV, we may say 1 per unit. So rated voltage. If it is exactly rated voltage, we say 1 per unit. It is above rated voltage, double, then we say 2, 2.5, etc. Okay. So here, this uh, if the over voltage is having 2.5 or 2 per unit, that can be reduced to 1.2 per unit if I'm adding a resistance in series to circuit breaker for greater than 5 millisecond. And uh, for a line length of long transmission, and say uh, about greater than 500 kilometer line. So for this 500 kilometer line, if I adding the resistance for greater than 5 millisecond, I can reduce the over voltage which is caused because of a switching surges, I can bring down to 1.2 per unit here. And we can also add this resistance for uh, 6 to 10 milliseconds. We can add this resistance for 
6 to 10 millisecond so that we can uh, limit the voltage below 2 per unit. So, which already we are obtaining 1.2 per unit for 5 millisecond only. So, going with this time also, it will be less than 2 per unit. Less than 2 per unit. So, this is what the uh, one of the method to reduce your over voltage due to the switching cell by adding the register in, register in series to the circuit taker. So, next one. That is a phase controlled closing of circuit breaker. Phase controlled closing of circuit breaker. So, here the over voltage can be avoided by controlling the exact instant of closing of three phase separately. We know that in a power system, what happened? Sorry. So, the power system will be having a three phases R by B. So, and the uh, circuit breakers or isolator which are related to this will be uh, three circuit breakers or three uh, switches we can say isolator where all the switches will close simultaneously we are aware of that right if you want to close the line or open the line all the three switches will close simultaneously here so what is here the meaning the second one is phase control closing of a circuit breaker so instead of closing all the three phases simultaneously so they will be closed simultaneously at the same time, but separately, not together. So instead of this, we can say that the individual circuit breaker will open and close with a different control system. So if I have three circuit breaker in this way, so first one will be controlled by something else to open or close, the other will be controlled by some other control mechanism to open or close, and similarly the third one. So all the three circuit breakers will be closed separately at a same instant of time. So by doing this, what happened? We can uh, reduce a few complicated uh, transcendences occurring due to the switching surges. And uh, very, there is a drawback of this system that is uh, this entire circuit is very complicated because for one controlling, one phase control, we require a complicated circuit, control circuit. Similarly, for three phases, we require three circuits, three controlling circuits. Therefore, uh, this method is not adopted as of now. So, this is one of the method to control a your own voltage due to switching cell, but this is not adopted because of a complicated controlling equipment here. So, next one is the drainage of trapped charges before reclosing. This is very, very important here. So, this we will do, we will be conducting one of the experiments as I mentioned in the high voltage that is with respect to uh, spark gap in your uh, next semester, in a seventh semester. So where uh, after each interval or each reading when you will taking here, so we perform the same thing. We try to discharge the uh, charges which is present within the your test setup. So that is one of the method here. Same method has been inward here. So the name itself is saying it's a drainage of a trapped charges before reclosing. Suppose say when the line is off, we have a transmission line, you, it has been uh, switched off because of some maintenance. Now what happened? You are trying to reclose that. Okay, you are trying to reclose. We are going to charge the line back once again. So in that case, what happened? The electric charge may be left in the capacitor, in the capacitor or in the uh, line conductors. Line conductors. So in these cases, the charge will be present within the capacitor or a line conductor. So these charges will normally will produce more uh, over voltage which will be already existing within the power system. So whenever the switching surge is happening, you will be having over voltage. So these charges also will contribute to that over voltage and which will lead to even more higher voltage because of the switching surges. And these over voltage uh, so charges need to be uh, grounded so using your insulators, sometimes the insulator will be connected to the ground, we can uh, easily ground that. If not, conventional uh, potential transformer may be also used to uh, dry the uh, charges where uh, potential transformer will be connected parallel to the ground here. So if this is a transmission line, this is how it will be connected. We can make use of this potential transformer also to ground this uh, charge which is present within the capacitor or line conductor or any other equipment. Uh, but the effective way of uh, removing these charges is the trapped charges before 
reclosing of your uh, any transmission line by inserting a resistance to the ground so what they will do they will add a resistance to the ground so this will be usually it will be the open case so just i will show once again here so it will be having like a switch type where the resistance will be connected and it will be grounded so what they will do whenever they want to recharge the line when they want to connect the line back once again so what they will do they will close the switch they will close the switch so that if any charges are present within the line so the the charge will easily flow to the ground so after that they will remove open the switch once again it will be a open condition then i can charge my line so this is a one of the method where the trapped charges within the uh, system can be removed easily by connecting a resistance in series or with a shunt to the reactor and removing before closing of your switches or before closing of the any line so this is very very important the same procedure we follow in a one of the experiment in the seven sem also so next one is uses of your shunt reactors so normally uh, if you take any uh, extra high voltage like ehv line so because so this effect will be uh, reduced by using a shunt reactor in a ehv line extra high voltage line so where this extra high voltage lines will be having a shunt reactor to limit the voltage rise due to the ferranti effect already in the previous class we have seen the ferranti effect so ferranti effect is nothing but where i am transmitting the voltage uh, about 11 kv but uh, at the sending end at the receiving end i may get 15 kv so where the receiving end voltage is higher than the sending end so that is because of the ferranti effect so this over voltage which is raised due to the ferranti effect can be limited by using the shunt reactor so they also used to help in reducing the surges caused by suddenly connecting of any new line or any new equipment to the power system so this ferranti effect may cause due to this one or this shunt reactor is also used to uh, will be helping to reduce your surges which is caused due to the new line or suddenly adding of any line or any equipment to the power system can be reduced here and these shunt reactors cannot drain the trapped charges but will give rise to the oscillation with the capacitance of the system so in the previous case we have seen that drainage of a trapped charges so i said that we may connect a resistance in series or in the shunt also so whereas this shunt reactor will never uh, give a path for a trapped charges instead of that it will give rise to the oscillations with the capacitance of the system so because we make use of the capacitor uh, reactor as a compensation here reactive compensation for the transmission line which will be uh, almost all less than 100% compensation if the line is required any compensation if you connect any shunt reactor over there so this will give less than 100% compensation it won't be 100% compensation it will be less than 100% compensation why because the frequency of the oscillation will be less than the power frequency so because of the capacitance which is connected in the transmission line so together the shunt reactor and the capacitor will create some oscillation within the system because of this frequency so this compensation will not be 100% compensated to the your any transmission line or within a power system so it will be always less than the 100% here and the over voltage produced may be high up to 1.2% we can bring to 1.2 per unit by connecting the shunt reactor so we can make use of a series resistor uh, with the reactor which can suppress this oscillation which is present here so right now i said that we'll be having this kind of oscillation when you connect this kind of a reactor so this shunt reactor will add with a capacitance value and will create this kind of a oscillation this oscillation can be eliminated if i am adding a series resistor along with your shunt reactor okay i am making use of a series resistor adding with a shunt reactor by doing this i can remove all this oscillation so that i can try to give a 100% compensation for the line and also to limit the over voltage which is caused due to the switching surges 
and the last one is uh, limiting switching surges by using the suitable diverters so that uh, surge diverter will be seen at the end of this model uh, there is a topic called as a surge diverter only how actually this uh, surge diverter will be used to limit this kind of uh, lightning surges or switching surges we will see over there okay this is regarding control of overvoltage due to switching 